Alright, what is going on YouTube? My name is Escape Boss and welcome back to another Gary's Mod Build Request. So, we are back in the wonderful world of Gary's Mod and the Construct Map. Uh, so, today's request is from two guys. Um, is to build a train. Specifically, a steam train. It is Graham Atkinson and, excuse me, and mine late. But you guys are requesting a steam train. Now, this has been requested a couple of times before. I can't do that. Well, I can, and I will, but it's not going to be what you think. It's not, I can't really do it with all the mechanics and all the things like turning around and all that shit. Because if you know Gary's much just a little bit, you know that it's not good at working precisely. And it's not really good at doing anything, uh, yeah, really... If you're putting anything on a prop and you want something to do on another prop, want it to do the exact same thing like that, like a train, and you're it's not gonna be able to do that. So fuck that shit. Anyway. But what I can do is make it look like a steam train. And hopefully that'll be good enough. So now that I think of it, this is actually a terrible map to do this. Let me switch up the map. Alright! Looks like we're back. Uh we are. We are back, definitely. So this map is called GM Train Construct, and it is uh, it's a pretty cool map. I like it, and you can control lots of shit in it, like with the tracks and all that stuff. But now, let's go ahead and um, well that means I don't have to build the track. Now I can spend more time on doing the actual uh, doing the actual train. Okay, so what I want to do here now, this is uh, this is pretty. This is gonna be pretty cool. Alright, we don't want them welded or fro- we do want them frozen. <laughs> there we go, and make sure that there should be a little bit of space between them. Yeah, there is. Cool. Alright. And now we want the prop over here. And then we want it to go over to this prop. And we want you to move. We have to select them back. And oh, don't. There we go. So it turns out this prop is not long enough. Let's find a prop that'll fit here. Hold on. There we go. Okay. 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 It is not the same point. All right. Now I have a point one and point two. Move it the wrong way. Bam. Yes! Here we go! Good start! Now he has it! Alright. So we just deselect, delete all. Cool. Now, I want the axis center to be on that prop, so. Yay! Look at that! That nice! Cool shit! Alright, so this will be the locomotive, okay? It's okay. Let's start off with the, um,. Let's start off with the actual, with the actual locomotive. Okay, so this is all about being creative, right? This is what it is. So you might have noticed that it, uh, has become nighttime. And I changed my clothes. Because I just, uh, <laughs> I went out to see with my family. So I had to stop the recording. But we're back in business with building this locomotive for our train. Which is good in the hood. And actually, I might just... No collide this bus, this stupid ass thing, just because it's much easier to deal with. All right, so guys, the whole point for this time lapse is just for me to kind of show you how much time I actually spend on getting these props to sit where I actually wanted them to be. Um, because the S props, as you can see, are lined up with squares. And it just really bugs me that if, if a prop is not placed directly where I wanted it to be, I'm gonna place it over and over until I got it perfectly. I guess I could have used the precision alignment tool to do this, but um, I figured I didn't want to figure all that out while I was recording. Um, but yeah, I feel like this cockpit in the locomotive turned out pretty well. It's a little tall um, compared to what I wanted it, but I think it turned out pretty good. Back to real-time me. <sighs> okay. So I feel like the whole engine of the I feel like the whole engine of the train should be this. Cool! Done! Thank you for watching! <laughs> okay, no. There is like a tank. Yeah. But it's just a little too small, I think. But I can still use the front. I kinda like the front of it. So perhaps we can hide it in a cylinder. Okay. 
place geometry. Man, these these lines and the props they 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 make me want to make me want to do everything perfect. <laughs> That's the thing. Okay, we can stack this upwards, I think. Nope, definitely not. Front? Nope, not that either. Behind? Nope, not that either. It must be right then. Left. I click left. Shit. There we go. This looks pretty dope. Okay, we're gonna have to put a front on it. Okay. Cool, let's weld it up. I'm satisfied with that. And I'm going to put this in here for decoration. For decorational purposes. Go in the hole, dude. Come on. Ooh. Kind of like that. Yeah, this looks pretty dope. <laughs> dupe? This looks pretty nice. I like it. Hello, guys. This is me from the future talking over past me building a locomotive, if you were in doubt what was going to happen. Um, so, a couple of things that I just wanted to say here is that, as you probably can tell from the video, is that I had loads of trouble uh, with finding the right sizes of the props because they vary with, like, one fucking block. Um, but yeah, so this is just me repairing the locomotive and trying to get it done for the final result. That is going to be the locomotive. And it's beautiful as shit. Now, whoo, for our passenger seat, or the passenger part, let's put uh, plates. Because I want something that goes all over the wheels, so we have a little bit of space. 36, 48. But it's the same height, isn't it? Ah. There it is. No, it's not! Tits! Man, I should have seen how long I made this thing. Right, whatever. Oh, right. Fuck this. It's of course it's too short. Jesus. We gotta do this with blocks. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna choose something that I fucking know that I know I can find. Okay, right, how is, how tall is this will this thing fit people inside of it if I just stacked it up? Yes, it fits! It fucking fits this. There we go. Boys, we're on route to making a passenger cart. Hello, guys. Once again, this is Future Escape Boss talking back over past me building the passenger cart. Now, uh, as you could probably tell from the video, what my idea, what I had here, you know, I had a lot of trouble finding the right sizes of props that I wanted to use. But I basically went for a Minecraft idea here. Um, so I chose a prop that would fit a guy in there. I wanted it was stacked. That way, when I stacked it all the way across the entire plate, I could just remove the props um, that were in the window position, and that way I would automatically create a window uh, for when I put the roof on. Um, now, the whole passenger cart, I think, had the right size compared to my locomotive. It had, it wasn't, it wasn't wide enough, I think. It was a little too short. Um, but I think the passenger cart has a pretty good uh, width and it looks pretty nice. Um, but as you're going to discover, it doesn't drive that well. Okay! I've been working on this shit for ages. I hope you can tell by the time lapse. Ah, oh, my God! This looks very promising. Doop. And the best thing is that I can duplicate this cart. Oh my God! Look at the wobbliness of this thing. Um. Oh no, that's wrong. Yeah, I figured I figured that would fix it. <laughs> okay. Moment of truth. Yes. Yes. It looks like it has a very good speed as well. I like that. It's like kind of slow going forward. Ha <laughs> ha! 
This is amazing! Okay, let's connect the other... Ooh, shit. Let's connect the other two things. Let's move this thing forward. Actually, hold on. Stop, stop. I don't think... Yeah, it's good. Okay! Test number two. Let's see how this works. Oh, Christ. Come on. Get inside the train. Nice. Hey! Look at this! Here we have a fucking train! Oh, fuck, I'm Chewbacca. <laughs> it doesn't really look like it likes going around corners. At all. Oh, my God. It fucking went off track. See the train... Roll on. Look at this. This is so cool. I really like the look of this. Even though it looked better. This train just doesn't give a shit. <laughs> it just rolls over the track. <laughs> God fucking damn it. Alright. Guys, I think I've made it. I think I've tried enough. You can go ahead and see if you can fix this shit yourself. I don't really give a fuck. But regardless, I hope you have, you have enjoyed watching this video. You can go ahead and leave some more comments in the comment section below if you have any ideas for me to create it next. If you're new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys in the next video.